Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to the show. We're so excited to have our guest, Corrine Lemos, joining us here live on the podcast, also on the Zoomcast today to talk more about Align2239.com. That's her website. It's Align2239 Wellness Services. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the company you have. I know you're helping so many individuals, groups, businesses uh, with all these different services. So could you give us a little overview, please? Yes. So Align 2239 um, is a wellness services business um, I created this year, but I've been in the mental health field for um, like over a decade now. And yeah, it's just, um, I work individually doing life coaching with clients, but I also um, want to get deeper into the community and get to know more people and provide more support to more people at one time. So I've been doing groups. It's been great. Um, And then also I want to help the community through their employment. And so I also um, help employees cope with the stresses of their job, but also um, provide consultations for the employers about how to be more sensitive to mental health needs um, and be more inclusive about diversity. So I do that as well. Um, I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. So so that's technically my day job still, but I'm um, also just loving this business venture that I started. Beautiful. Well, then let's get back. Let's talk a little about your history. We brought you here to help people with the wellness. As you mentioned, uh, you mm-hmm. always wanted to help people, right? Could you share a little bit of your background? Yes, um, I wanted I was either going to do in high school, either like pre-med or psychology, and I wasn't sure. But my high school teacher, Miss Calby, I just saw her for lunch a few weeks ago. She, um, she worked um, with prison inmates um, as a therapist, I believe, or a a social worker. And then she decided to be a a therapist, teacher in order to help people at the beginning of the line instead of at the end of the line, dirty jail. So then she would like really nurture all of us and be there for us if there were difficult things we needed to share and talk about. So I was like, I want to be that person for people because she was that person for me. So just then I chose psychology and went went there for my college career and um, just built built towards that. Also, I enjoy um, scientific research. So what I might talk about today um, is my book that I have that um, is available online. And um, I did a lot of in my in my development as a clinician, I also did a lot of scientific research. So in my writing, I also provide lots of citations and resources and stuff like that. So that's my where I'm coming from. Yay. Tell us about the book. When did you write the book and what is the book called and what is it about? Yes. So this is um, my mini workbook. It's called the mini map and it's called um, Align in Love. So almost everything that I provide any service, any group, it's going to have like a line in it just to make everything um, all like go together with each other. But the book is called Align in Love and it's the mini map. So basically it's a mini roadmap um, to help strengthen your personal development journey. There's still a few left um, in paper form, but there's also an e-form on my website, align2239.com. And um, here is the, there's like a little bookmark you get if you if you buy the copy the paper copy but um I wrote this it I released it this year and um it's available online but I also provide it during my events I give it as part of the goodie bag and so um yeah it's a it's basically like a mini um course on just how to check in with the main parts of your health and then so that you can um basically like tune up your life, like your tune up for your car, it's like a tune up for your being and how to just um, check in on each main part of your health so that you can like optimize your health. Beautiful. How exciting. Oh my gosh. To to become an author like this. Uh, When did you start working on that? Um, it's been like a labor of love, um, through it's, it's a compilation basically of the different, um, activities I do with my clients. So especially in the therapy room. So what when people work with me, even if it's life coaching, and I don't do therapy, psychotherapy with them, um, there's still, you know, like years and years of 
just the way I talk now, pretty much. Um, that's like ways to help them and just tools that work for me and work for clients. So it's kind of pretty much like a, a summation or a, a I condensed a lot of the tools that have worked time and time again with my therapy clients that I put them in here so that I've been creating it. But this past year is when I put it into paper. Beautiful. Well, we love this and excited to have you back yeah. here to talk about this. And since it is our first Zoom, uh, let me ask you, uh, what did you want to kind of dive into for today? Yeah. Um, well, as I stated in like the the last podcast, um, the audio version, uh, I do like to provide value in so that also potential um, customers and clients can see what it would be like to work with me. But also whoever is listening to this can get a little value out of it, can get something to think about and chew on for their day. Um, and it just, you know, helps me use my platform, you know, that you and the Professional Business Network has given me to just help some people. So um, I would like to just kind of go through a few of the the tools that are provided in the book so people can use them after listening to this or watching it. Yay. Excited to talk about that. All right. You said ebooks? Wait. Um, I have ebooks and I have I have this the oh. the print version. Oh. So yeah. we can download it anywhere, watch it at any, listen to it anytime. Yes. Yeah. I'm working on the audio book. So right now it's an ebook and a paper form. Perfect. All yes. right. And just to remind everyone how we can get a copy. Um, you can go to align2239.com and it's in my shop. Mm -hmm. Where are you located? In Los Angeles. And I can meet virtually like this worldwide. And I'm sure are most of your clients virtual at this point? Yes, a lot of them are virtual, but I do go in a couple times a month um, in Culver City in person. Okay, awesome. So did you want to share more about this, about spirituality? Um, yeah, yes. Um, so I will just like, I'll just start. So with the, with the book, um, just like a preview of it, you know, it's like a journal, you're gonna maybe have to journal a bit. Um, but I want listeners and like, and also like you and I as well, I need to do this more often. Um, but one of the tools, so the first tool that I'll share from the book is um, all you need to really see is the stoplight. So it's basically the traffic light analogy. And I've gone through this with many of my clients where it's a self-awareness tool. So just think of a stoplight. And then we have this like added light that I'll tell you what it is. But um, I want people to check in with themselves. And you and I talked to that about a little bit about that last week, um, about just how we're doing mentally, physically, spiritually. So um, one thing that I encourage clients to do is to assess like, what are the levels for them? So for let's say I'm using myself and as, as an example, um, the green zone is when I'm feeling good. I am able to cope with stress. I feel productive in my day. Um, I am like eating pretty balanced, hydrating, but then as, especially I've legitimately noticed over the past week with the holidays, we get towards like the red zone. So the yellow is when you notice like, mm, I'm a bit more irritable or I have too much going on or I'm missing deadlines. I'm getting to a stressful state. And then the red is when we are in basically almost fight or flight or panic, or we're not having a good outlook on life. This is where if we have any depression, anxiety, where it comes out. And so it's good to know. So as whoever is listening right now, and also Jill, you like you and I can like just check it like, hmm, like where, where am I today? And it's just good to know this. So then we can also know what to communicate to our loved ones if we need a moment, we need a break, we need um, assistance. If we need to delegate um, help, let's say the next holiday coming up, some of us might be celebrating Thanksgiving. Like, are we cooking the whole thing or are yeah. we delegating, you know, to loved ones like you, you potluck style, maybe just to not take it all on. Right. So it's good to know if we, if we're in the green, make that home meal. But if we're in the yellow or red, we might, you know, put in Boston market, right. Or, you know, put in Not some Boston orders. Market. 
Yeah. Right. That's mashed potatoes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. So yeah, just, you know, put it, put in orders. There's no, um, unfortunately, I wish there were um, awards given to especially moms who, you know, do the the extra work to make things at home. And I wish there was an award, but unfortunately, there's no work. So whatever is the food gets on the table and we spend time together, that's what's important. So if we're in the yellow or red, like delegate, ask for help, ask for assistance. Um, and then if we're in the green, we can we can grind a little more, hustle a little more. So I want everyone to be checking in with that, especially during the holiday season. Um, but lastly, with this analogy, with the traffic light, I added this little um, fourth light and it's like kind of sparkly because um, it that's how it looks for me. But I want, I always tell each person to think about not just when you're feeling stable, which would be the yeah. green, but when you're feeling optimal. So what does optimal feel like? And for me, I was like, okay, the color for me would be like a turquoise with sparkles. So that's why it looks like that on for the book. But when you're feeling optimal, what does that feel like when you're feeling great and you you maybe wake up and you're ready for the day or the, your favorite songs, they just hit like real good. Um, what what does that feel like? And then when we're in those states, we also know we can take on some challenges or um, engage in some some more growth or um, new experiences. So yeah, like that's something I want listeners to kind of check in with themselves and identify a time in their life when they felt more optimal. And then so also you can work towards like getting there and spending more time in that zone. Um, Jill, do you have a, an example of a time when you're feeling like optimal? What's like one way that you know that you're feeling good? It's when I get my stuff done. Okay. I have a six and eight year old. We live mm -hmm. alone. It's me and the boys 24 seven. So it's school, get them on the bus, go to work. Then got to meet them after school. Oh, then we're doing homework. Then we have sports. Oh, then it's dinner. Then it's the PTA meeting. And Yes. I'm always with them. There's no every other weekend. So there's uh, last weekend I asked for help. I sent them to my friends, um, their, their friends, uh, one of the kids' uh, friends, the parents watched them for five hours. Mm -hmm. I felt optimal. I was able to take down my Halloween decorations, make piles in the house. Even yeah. though the stuff is not done, it's on the way to being done. And I feel yes. good. And it's very hard for people to understand. What do you mean you want to be alone? You want to organize? I'm like, because I never get to be alone. So I feel optimal when I'm alone, which is a rarity. And I feel mm -hmm. like, but I'm always doing stuff for the family, for the house. It's not like I'm going out partying, but I feel good when I'm getting my bins done. And yes. I got a bins all together. I took all the old kids stuff out and, and donation bags and we're going to donate them. So like, I, I feel good when I get stuff done. I feel yes. optimal. What about you? Yes. Yeah, that is one. And it's almost like, so this is a secret almost. And so my husband's now going to know my secret. Uh -oh. But um, what you're saying about that five hours that mm -hmm. you had to get things done alone, yeah, like that feels we can feel optimal. It feels almost it could feel almost indulgent sometimes about like no one's here and I can put on music or I can and just organize or get these these things done that I really want to I like to do that too so if my son um if my husband or anyone can be with my son and I can clean alone um that feels awesome for me but I feel like it's a little secret because I don't want support like a mom support system to know that that also is like fun for us sometimes or feels really good for us sometimes um because we also need to do it so I also want any mom listening to know, like to ask for that for sure. Cause then it feels great, right? When you come home and those decorations are put away and you finish some things on your list, it's like, oh, that feels good. And we feel optimal. Mm -hmm. But um, I think also whenever possible asking for um, time alone or time to also like whatever feels restful, as well so um even if it's like an hour just to like take a bath like I haven't ah. taken a bath in a long time only like two minute showers but so little yes. self-care uh, getting the yes. nails and I feel good can you see my nails how horrible they're growing out me yeah. too <laughs> <laughs> I just well they were so long I actually clipped them yesterday because they were like this and so now they need a huge fill in or I'm just gonna rip them off but like those little things make us feel good yes. right 
Yes. And we feel good and we like how our nails look when we're doing stuff. And so, yes, those things count and we need to do those for sure. Um, and then, so yeah, lastly, then the, the other tip I'll give and just is during this time when we are asking for, for help or just seeing like what we need. So where we are in the traffic light analogy, but, um, also then if we notice we're in the yellow or we're in the red, um, this is something that I adapted from, um, the book, nonviolent communication. So that's another recommendation. And so, um, just needs, looking at your needs, your connection needs for connection needs for peace needs for physical well-being um also play that one during the holidays is wonderful to build in about play you know building gingerbread houses if you do that you know like playing board games with family um play connection um so those are things too that i want um listeners to to check in and you know the book is, I put that in there, but if you also get the book, Nonviolent Communication, or you just Google needs list, needs inventory, sometimes we need to take that minute for ourselves and see yeah. what we need so that we could ask for it or go get it ourselves. Ah, so it's not being called selfish. It's self-care. Just want to remind yes. everyone of that. <laughs> yes, it is not selfish. No. And there's, think of like when you're on an airplane and they're giving you that safety rundown of like, you know, oh, what do you need to do? Oh, okay. I don't know what happened. I didn't touch anything. It happens okay. sometimes. Glitch. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And so on the airplane, what do they tell you in the safety talk? They say, if the oxygen mask come down, who do you put it on first? Yourself yep, first. In order to take care of the others. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. So we got to do that because if you put it on others, that's very noble. But once you pass out, you're not going to be a help to anybody in that metaphor of the airplane. You need to put the mask on yourself so that then you can help everyone around you because you will be taken, taken care of. Oh, beautiful. I love this. And hold on. When we call you to work with you, I mean, it's great to have the book, right? But um, you're doing your sessions like this. How often do you meet with someone to get them to where they have to be? Like, is there... Yes. Yeah, about um, so I recommend to the base meeting would be about like six weeks. Mm -hmm. um, And we can spread them out as well. But about six weeks to meet like weekly. um, And I use a platform that allows me to also give the client homework, Mm -hmm. and then be commenting during the week. So what's really cool is um, we can meet, talk, discuss, I can encourage them. But then also during the week, if I see them finish a homework assignment, I could be like, a great job, think about this or, and so there's a lot of contact within that six weeks. um, And I that's like the the basis that I I set my foundation on is like at least at least six weeks to like just intensive give some attention to yourself perfect will do all right what else is on tap for us today yes well and the last thing I had if we had time because I know time goes by, by we have so time. fast we have five minutes go ahead okay so the last one is um this one is about it relates to spirituality but I want to just um, have some things for people to look out for. So this is um, adapted from one of my favorite books called like Emotionally Healthy Spirituality. And they had, um, the author has in that book outlines what looks like healthy spirituality and what's unhealthy spirituality. And just, you know, if you've listened to the previous podcast episodes, or if you've seen my website, you know that I work with people of like all faiths, all backgrounds. So even atheism, like this can apply to you about mm-hmm. nature, stuff like that. So I just want to encourage, I'm going to just state the last, um, the tips about how to have healthy spirituality. And I think that can just be something to think about, especially with everything going on in the world um, and the differing beliefs. And so I'll just um, share that about like what to try and keep in the forefront of our mind when it comes to like our spirituality, which is like how we conceptualize like the universe and what's going on in the world. So um, our goals in whatever kind of spiritual belief system we have is to be able to be ourselves. One goal is to be ourselves and to celebrate our uniqueness and the uniqueness of others. Um, 
have partnerships, whether it's a boyfriend, a marriage, friendships, have those partnerships be with open communication and Mm -hmm. teamwork, um, allowing our children to progress through developmental stages and gain autonomy, um, cope with crisis in a healthy way. We can get along with others without demanding that they have the same views. Mm -hmm. That's a huge one, especially right now. Um, We can state our beliefs calmly without putting others down. That's a huge one right now as well. Um, Allowing ourselves to feel free to enjoy life and play um, and have our being sure of our personal beliefs, but not closed minded, you know, allowing for other people to have other beliefs and respecting others without trying to change them. Um, And I think that can go with, you know, like all of the things going on in the world right now, but also too, even on a micro level in our families, the holidays are coming, we sit down and sometimes these, these discussions get heated with politics with, so to remember those kinds of goals about respecting others without trying to change them, being sure of ourselves while also allowing others to be sure of themselves. Um, And just that's something that I want to leave people with to think about, you know, during, especially during the next couple months. Oh, beautiful. Thank you so much. All right. Well, we are about done. We have two minutes left. Always happens so quick. All right. Well, how do we reach you? What's the process? Share one more time. Yes, the best way to reach me would be um, on my website, align2239.com. And if you scroll down, there's a contact form and you can tell me exactly what you're looking for, um, how you would like to work together. Uh, You could also um, email me at align2239.com or no, align2239 at currylimas.com um, and find me on Instagram. That's a great way that I like to, to just connect on a casual way, but it's hard to, to contact me directly because I get random DMs, mm-hmm. but that one is a great one for to start just getting to know me and we can start getting to know each other on there. Perfect. Thank you so much. Pleasure having you back and great to see you here in person. And again, pick up a copy of the book or the ebook, reach out for some personal sessions and you do yeah. groups, right? Yes. You also do and corporations events. and events. Perfect. All right. Thank you again for being yes. here. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's It's going to be okay.